Well, good morning. Happy Father's Day. Today's scripture is found in Ephesians chapter four, uh, chapter six, verse one, and it goes like this: Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. A little girl, ask her mama. Mama, if Santa Claus brings us our presents and God gives us our daily bread and Uncle Sam gives us Social Security, why do we have Daddy around? <laughs> I guess I'm just a little old-fashioned. I, I, I'm, I'm really prefer to be called a dad than than a father because we have a heavenly Father. And uh, what's a prerequisite of being a good dad? Being a man, functioning as a man, taking responsibility as a man, thinking like a man, acting like a man, working like a man, and all of these prerequisites, uh, you know, will bring a good dad. That's, that's what you need to do. I tell you what, they uh, they got them mixed up in many places, and uh, they don't know if we're a dad or a mama or a what. But uh, a, a good dad, uh, you, you know, you'll be a good man. It's a dying art today, can't you tell? <laughs> There's not very many in our nation anymore. You know, I learned from my dad. Uh, you know, a happy home, you must place God as a centerpiece of your home. You certainly do. And uh, now, do you serve the living God? Do you? Our Heavenly Father? You know, many don't. And it just breaks my heart to know that there's uh, dads out there that, you know, they, they love their family and try their best to provide for them and take care of them, yet they're not taking care of the essential thing, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ in their heart. You see, it's hard to be a, a good human being. It's good, it's hard to be, uh, you know, of this world and be a good dad. We need to give our hearts to the Lord and watch how we can nurture our children, nurture our family in general. It makes a big, big difference. Well, I hope everyone has a happy Father's Day today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. Yep, he died on that cross for us, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.